And there is a one question, algebraic question here, algebraic fraction we are supposed to solve. I don't know whether you can be able to see this clearly uh, at this particular point. If I can see that, and see, you are supposed to solve this question. Yeah. So if you look at it, it's actually a very long, very long algebraic equation, uh, which I would like us to try to solve and see exactly how you are supposed to approach this particular part. So let me just uh, take a second so that I can be able to write it and see exactly what we are expected to do in this given kind of question. So um, stay tuned. But the question says, the question says, uh, solve, solve, we have 45 x cubed minus 8x, and this is divided by 3x squared plus x minus 4. This is more than 2, put a bracket, 1 over 3x minus 4. And then plus one over x. Then this is equivalent to four into bracket x plus two over five x minus. Yeah, you can see it's actually a very very long question, and um, I would like us to employ step by step pro um, process in order to work it out. So what are we supposed to do uh, given a question like this? So this question is really expecting us to... Um, no, I didn't know that I wasn't using the mic. This question is expecting us to apply factorization and uh, it should be factorization of the highest order Factorization, you must be very accurate on how you're going to factorize this. So, uh, the first bit that we I want us to look at in this question is uh, this section here, this section that we have at this particular point. Um, we are going to factor out uh, 5x so that we can be able to have this simplified. So this is going to be uh, 5x if I factor out 5x, I'm going to remain with 9x squared minus 16. Because uh, if uh, you take this, we are going to have a difference of two squares in this particular part. So meaning that this is going to further simplify to 5x into uh, 3x minus 4 multiplied to 3x plus 4. Yeah, this is going to be 3x minus 4 and 3x plus 4 so that you can have uh, that. Now, once you have this, I want also to look at this denominator that we have here. I need to factorize this as well, but there's something that is not really working with us well here because in this one we are having a coefficient in x squared. How do you factorize those kind of questions? When you are having a coefficient in this particular part, you realize that you are going to multiply the first that term times the last term so that you can be able to get sum and product. So we are saying we are doing uh, 3x squared plus x minus four. So we need sum of two numbers, which is one, but the product product of the two numbers should be three times negative four is going to be negative 12. Which two numbers will give us such kind of uh, an expression? Sum, sum one, but product negative 12. The two numbers, the two numbers are, can you write in the comment below, comment section below, which two numbers? The two numbers are negative, actually it's going to be negative three and positive four. Because if you multiply three, negative three and four, you are going to get negative 12. But if you add negative three plus four, you are going to get one. So which means that um, now this, to factorize this, we are going to say this is going to be 
3x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 4. So we are going to group these two terms together and this one we factor out what's common. What's common the two, uh, what's common here is actually uh, 3x, we remain with x minus 1. And in this second one, we are going to factor out 4, we remain with x minus 1. And therefore, now the factorized form of this expression becomes 3x plus 4 and x minus 1. So this is the factorized form of uh, this particular part. And the other one that we had gotten here is the factorized form of this part. So we are almost done, uh, but uh, we were also given this uh, middle term here. This one, we are going to express it as a single fraction. Now to express this as a single fraction, um, so that we can be able to cancel things out whenever we need to do that. So I'm going to express that as a single fraction and uh, in order to express a single fraction, I'm going to multiply this term and this term and uh, say now, yeah, let me see. We are having one over three X minus four and then plus one over x as a single fraction this is going to be uh, x times 3x minus 4 and then i'm going to multiply this term butterfly method this term to be multiplied there and this one to be multiplied on the other side so that i'm going to have x x plus 3x minus x plus 3x minus 4 so you can see I'm going to have 4x minus 4 over, over what? Over, this is 4x minus 4 uh, over x into 3x minus 4. So I can be able to factor out what's common here. I'll factor out 4 and mean with x minus 1 over x into 3x minus 4 right once we have uh, gotten this what i'm going to do i'm going to try to squeeze all this part with the factorized form that we have gotten so the the first one was 45 x cubed minus 80 uh, x that one factorized to this part here so i'm going to write that as 5x into bracket 9 not 9, but uh, rather that became 3x minus 4, 3x plus 4. That was the part that we factorized here. The denominator, uh, we had gotten it at this particular point. So I'm going to write the denominator at this particular point, And that is going to be 3x plus 4 uh, multiplied to x minus 1. Uh, times the middle term factorized to this. Huh? So we are going to say this is actually 4 into bracket x minus 1, x minus 1 over, over x into 3x minus 4. Then now we are going to write the part, the other part of the equal sign, which is actually 4 into x plus 2 over 5x minus 8. So we now need to look at the expression that we have gotten here. Is it going really to cancel out uh, in the process so that we can be able to simplify it? Number one, I can see x and this x will cancel out. We can also see that um, x minus 1 and x minus 1 will cancel out. We have also this x plus 4 3x plus 4 is going to cancel with 3x plus 4 at that particular point and 3x minus 1 is going to be cancelling out with 3x minus 1. So if uh, we work out this, we realize that the numerator is going to be 20 over, over what? Over nothing. Yeah, it's just 20 
is equals to 4x, yeah, into 4x into, okay, 4 into x plus 2 over 5x minus 8. And I can see if uh, this 4 and 20 is going to divide and we're going to remain with actually 5 is equals to x plus 2 over 5x minus 8. So in order to get rid of this fraction part that I have here, I'm going to multiply by 5x minus 8, uh, 5x minus 8 in this side also, so that this 2 is going to cancel out. And we're going to have 25x minus 40 equals to uh, x plus 2. And that is going to be actually 25x minus x equals to 40 plus 2. If we subtract this, we are going to get 24x equals to 42. So we divide by 24. We divide by 24 at that given point. Yeah, I believe this now you can be able to see it properly. I've tried to write it so that it can be able to be clear. On the other side, this was 25x minus 40 equals to x plus 2. And at this point, we had 24x over 24. And we have 42 at this point and 24. So that we can be able to say these two guys here will cancel out. And we are going to remain with our x being equivalent to 2. Okay, okay. Which number will go here? 2 will go here 20. One times two will go at this point 12 times. Eh? So actually, six can go to these two numbers. Uh, six will go seven times, six will go here three times. So, yeah, so basically, that's what you are supposed to get eh, in this kind of uh, question. So, no, all right, so if we if we simplify this, we're going to get our answer being equivalent to 7. If we simplify this, we're going to get our answer being equivalent to 7 over 4 as our final answer in this part. So that's basically what you are supposed to do in this question. So if you are new, consider subscribing so that in time I'm going to upload a new tutorial. You'll be more